Welcome to your Go Market Update. Welcome to your Go Market Update and charts of the day for today. It's the 24th of November 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session on this Friday afternoon. US markets were shut yesterday for Thanksgiving Day, of course. Today we've got a shortened trading day. It's Black Friday in the US. So what that means is that equity market closed at one o'clock and bond markets shut at two o'clock. Uh, European indices did close higher on the back of good PMI data out of the UK and the Eurozone yesterday. But US futures are pretty flat in early Asian trading. Asian markets being mixed, the Nikkei and the ASX outperforming. The Hang Seng is doing pretty poorly, actually. The ASX is up around 0.3% reversing yesterday's losses at this stage. European futures are pointing to a cautious open. And the VIX pauses after a recent downtrend around September support. It still looks very bearish, though, uh, suggesting the market is fairly calm. And that Santa Claus rally is well and truly on. US dollar index retracing back downwards after a bounce off August levels. Remains of the 200 EMA again looking bearish. That support is really critical. Uh, gold on the back of that USD weakness was mildly higher. It could retest 2000 today. It's trading around 1992 as I record this. And copper also was slightly positive. It may retest 385 resistance. It's up in Asia today. So watch that as a level also. Oil didn't move much, but was a little weaker overnight and remains within a short term trading range. And Bitcoin moved back of the short term range that it's been trading in for some time now. And that 38,000 is obviously the key level to the upside to keep an eye on. As well as the end of earnings. We've got Black Friday. Those retail sales numbers will be reported on in the coming days. Particularly the online sales will be likely to have an impact on some of the tech stocks. One would suggest particularly Amazon. Uh, so generally speaking, there's likely to be reduced volume with that shortened trading day. In terms of data, we do have some data out today of significance. We've already had Japanese PMI, which is a bit soft. Uh, this afternoon, we've got German GDP, which is obviously going to impact on the euro and then because the US was shut yesterday, we've got the US PMI due this evening. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We're quite interested in the Kiwi Yen. Here's the daily chart. You can see that push back up after a bounce uh, off around about 89.37. It's taken us up to 90.50 and a potential retest of 91, which was a level that we hit back on the 15th and 16th of November is very much on the cards. If we look at a 30 minute chart, you can see they're really in a tight trading range at this stage after a move higher in the early part of the Asian session. So, one to watch without a doubt, very much in an upwards trend channel and looking to continue that going forward. On the ASX, Paladin looks interesting. Again, it's retesting that 103, 104 level. Uh, with the potential of, if it breaks out to move up to 114 that would be a significant return on investment but very worthwhile being cautious until you breach that 104 level uh, but then there's a potential nine percent of the upside and certainly the buyers look as though they're ready to go again in terms of testing this key level here which is traded around for the last four days trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now